I can't emphasize this enough to us as a church. All of our study of the scriptures and all of our growth in theology and all of our deepening of our doctrine, it must lead to the worship of Jesus Christ. It must lead to extolling and exalting Jesus Christ, realizing that he alone is worthy of the power and the praise. To extol Jesus is to praise him enthusiastically. I love that I see enthusiastic praise happening at Gospel City Church. It, it shook me awake this morning. It wa- awakened my own soul this morning. Desperately need that. To worship Jesus is to respond to the revelation of his holiness. That's what worship is. It's a rhythm of revelation and response. God is always initiating worship all around us. He's done it through his word perfectly, but all of the heavens and the earth are declaring his great praise, and we have to stop and we have to notice and we have to taste and we have to see that he is good and he is always good and we respond accordingly. To exalt Jesus is to lift up and ascribe worth to him beyond anything that this world has to offer and the worship of Jesus must be the highest aim of the believer's life. And as the Ephesians were confronted with the power of Jesus, their fear quickly moved to adoration. Proverbs 9 verse 10 says this, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. Man, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom because I see the Lord in all of his power and all of his holiness and I begin to worship him. The fear of the Lord leads to insight. Knowledge of the Holy One leads to the insight that I can come to him and I can bow down before him And I can give him praise and honor and glory that he's worthy of. And when you start to worship Christ, you see the foolishness of everything you've placed on the throne above him. If you were to follow a pathway to your heart of your time, uh, your hobbies, your money, your energy, your talent, you'd come to a throne. Whatever is on the throne of your heart is what you worship. And Jesus is the only one worthy of being there. And the people of Ephesus found it out that day. They found out that Jesus is the power and Jesus is worthy to be worshipped.